So guys, we are at the farmer's market with my dearest Nikki Philippa. Yay! And we're about to get all the goodness. All the made, goodness. All the goodies. All of the good food. For a little kitchen and for another food video. So come along guys. Let's go, Let's go do it. So much fun getting going to the farmers market with you this morning. I know the all smells. the goods. Yes, the herbs, the goodness. It was amazing. This in particular, one of my favorite smells. I know. Let's make up soup. <gasps> Wanna? Yes. With all these good smells. Yes. All these beautiful pumpkins. So first, I'll start chopping these. Do you want to cut up this onion for me? I would love to. Is there perfect. a certain way you want to cut? Okay. Just like a Ooh. rough dice. Like a little dice. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Everyone is going to be upset by how badly I chop my vegetables. Oh my gosh. People are going to feel so at home seeing you chop your onion exactly how you chop it. And probably at home whenever they see how I'm messily, I'm going to cut this squash too. That's what I like to think that I like make cooking look easy because I don't know what I'm doing. But <laughs> yes. So I'm just cutting off all this skin because I'm gonna throw it in the pot. You could technically just like roast this, like open face and roast it in the oven, but I thought it'd be faster and easier to just throw it straight in the, in the pot. pot. Yeah, with all that herbs and everything. And what are you, you're chopping up the... Butternuts. The butternut squash. Yes. We'll probably saute the onions and the garlic a little bit first, okay. just to get it going. All right, my onions are pretty much ready. Is this your first like fall? Yeah, like my first official fall. Oh my gosh, what do you think so far? I'm loving it. To be honest, everyone always would say on the internet, like fall, they love fall, it's their favorite. You know, and I always never really got it. I'm like, no, just take me back to summer. But now that I'm here, I get it. You get it. Driving around, seeing the trees. Oh my gosh, like, aren't the leaves amazing? It's amazing. Oh, so dreamy. Mm, can I throw the onions in? Yes, please. And then I'll chop some garlic real quick. And we'll throw that in there. What more do you want besides onions and garlic? Like, not oh. much more. We, I like that you and I are both smellers. Yes. Like I love to smell and you love to smell I too. I love it. Okay, so once your garlic and onion is cooked down in olive oil and is smelling absolutely amazing, it's time to add everything else. Peel off the skin and remove the seeds of your pumpkin, butternut, and acorn squash. Make sure to keep the seeds though because we'll use them in just a little bit. Then dice your pumpkin, squash, and parsnips into about one inch cubes or so. Next, you will put your pumpkin, squash, and parsnips in the pot and let them simmer in broth until tender. Just so the color stays nice and bright orange, instead of like chopping up the herbs and putting them in there, because uh -huh. it kind of will turn it a little bit green, yeah. I'm just gonna get some twine and tie this sage, which smells heavenly. Oh. And rosemary, I'll probably put the parsley in just on top, but like put those in and let them kind of like soak in there all, yes, with all those other flavors. Oh. But then when I'm done, I can just pull them out and it still has that. And it still has all the bright. flavors. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, and we could probably go ahead and put some mm. that vegetable broth in here. So good. I just bought that from the store, but you could totally just make your own. It smells really good. So let's do some water and some broth. You can just glug so it's not too much. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. We can add more later if we want. We can just let this simmer a bit. Okay, let's make a little herb bundle. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna put all of this in here. All this goodness. Can't believe I've never heard of this before. Oh, it's really like nothing to it. 
I think I've seen it tell. and not realized what people were doing. Uh huh. But that's interesting. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my god. All the gosh. flavor is going to come from this. What else do you think we should put? Hmm. Maybe pepper? Yes, definitely pepper. Probably, no, I don't know, cumin or something warm? Yes. I don't know. A little bit of mustard milk. seed? I don't know. I think it'll be a different dimension. Yeah, you no, I've never cooked with mustard seed. Really? Yeah. It's super subtle. Maybe some oh. red pepper flakes? Yes, definitely. All of the spice. Yeah, I'm like a huge fan of spice. Me too. Okay, good. Because I don't want to make your mouth on fire. Maybe some dried tarragon? <gasps> I've never cooked with dried tarragon either. Oh, you haven't? Uh -uh. It's it's sweet, kind of. Oh! Cool? All the herbs, all the spices. I can't stop leaning over and smelling it. <laughs> yeah. It smells so good. The best part is going to be whenever we go sit outside, mm -hmm. make a fire, and just cozy up and eat it oh. in our little pumpkin bowls. Okay, so we can just let that go for a second, and then right. we could do our seeds while that's going. We can just get these little fibers out. Or maybe it would be better if we got the seeds like that, and then just pop them on there. Okay. And I'll make sure the oven is pretty hot. 450 should be perfect. Okay, so we've got these too. seeds spread out. Just do a little olive oil. I'm like trying to save every seed. I know. It's gold. They're precious. Okay, what do you think? Garlic salt is 100% sure. garlic salt. I love garlic. Maybe, can you just some that basil? Yes. Maybe like really good. I never. Oh. Some cayenne. Maybe some paprika? Uh-huh. That'd be good. Okay. Beautiful. Give it a little toss a root. These are going to be so fun. We're going to add such a nice little uh, topper to yeah. our soup. Okay, gosh, yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Perfecto. Shall we pop them in? Yes, we shall. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, Yes, Bonnie Kate. We, we, we have to break. just hang out. Such a challenge. Such a challenge to just hang and talk and, and visit. And, oh, man. <sighs> the struggle. <laughs> How are we going to do it? <laughs> I can't even. What are we even going to talk about? I can't even. What are we even going to discuss? So we let the soup cook for about half an hour or so on medium-high heat. Once everything was nice and soft, we took out the herb bundle. By then, it infused with the vegetables, leaving rosemary smelling absolutely heavenly. After that, we let the soup cool for a bit. Then, we put it in a food processor and blended it until it was deliciously creamy. So now that the soup's cooked and we've got it all nice and pureed, we can make our pumpkin bowls. I'm so excited. Okay, so I already did these. Obviously, you helped me. Mm -hmm. Where you just chop it off and scoop out the seeds, but I'll do one more. I think this little white guy will be perfect. I would never have thought of this, and it's the cutest thing you could possibly do <laughs> to this soup. I'm so excited about it. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I've never cut open a white pumpkin before. Oh! <laughs> so this is a first for me. Okay, and I'll go ahead and start putting some soup in this little buddy. I also love how pretty, look how pretty the tops are. It's like flowers. I love it. I know, it's so, so beautiful. So cute. Mm. Okay. So good. Cannot wait to dive in. Oh my god. Wait gosh. till we put all that. Pretty things the on top, top too. The tops are seriously like so cute with their little stems. <laughs> okay, Yay. we've got it. So cute. Oh my gosh, you did a great job too. Thanks. I pride myself in my pumpkin cutting ability. There you go. Look at you, Nikki. Okay, I keep everything. <gasps> oh. And let's put some of this goodness on top. Since we got the heat from that red pepper, yeah, get a little splash of cool from this coconut milk would be really good yes. and pretty. Oh, incredible. Okay. I was thinking we could do some little yes. bit of parsley. Oh, I think I got way crazy with the parsley. No, go crazy. The more the merrier. And maybe a little speck of rosemary, because why not? We are in rosemary. Yes. It would just not be right if we didn't. It wouldn't. 
some seeds for a little crunch. Yes. I can't stop nibbling these. No, I know. I'm obsessed. They're so good. Oh. This flavor combo, it's so good. Okay, perfect. Mm. That's really pretty. What do you think? I, I'm so obsessed. It's Love. so cute. Okay, now we just need the, a salad, don't you think? I think we need a salad. A nice full salad. salad to Bring go it all with together. It. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment down below letting us know what you think. If you've tried any of these ingredients, recipes, all that jazz. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Yes, please do. Also, there's gonna be a link below of this pumpkin soup recipe as well as a link to this amazing video of the salad recipe over on Nikki's channel. You guys have to check it out. And <gasps> we can't wait to be adventurous with you. you. Bye guys. Bye.